Hey everyone, Holly here again with The Crafty Attic and I'm here to share another project with you. I was lucky enough to get a hold of these two uh, Bullet Bourbon Whiskey bottles. They have the raised letters on the front. My husband's friend had passed them on to me and him being a bottle collector, we had quite a battle over who was going to get these bottles and as you can see I won. So anyway, I'm going to show you what I decided to do with this bottle. I've had them for a while and just could decide what to do. I think you'll like the finished product. Okay, I'll be back to get started. So first of all, what I did was took a sanding block and just went over top of these raised letters on the bottle so they'll stand out. And then next, I found this old car. This is printed on rice paper. And then I used the water pen, as you've seen in my other videos, to get the roughed edge. So it will blend in with the paint. And I want to put this right below the wording. I just think this would be a great gift for Father's Day. Or we have a lot of car enthusiasts out there. This old car kind of goes hand in hand with... Um, the bootlegging days, you know, with whiskey and all, so I think it's a good match. Again, I work with my Mod Podge out of a canning jar and a sponge brush, which was already used. I keep in a plastic bag to keep it moist. Okay, I think we got it fairly straight. Start in the middle here. I was lucky enough to get these two bottles. My husband's friend passed them along to him. He's a bottle collector. <laughs> they were intended for me, so we had quite the struggle over these bottles, but as you see, I won. It's kind of neat because they resemble the the bottles from the bootlegging era, you know, with the raised lettering. Maybe someday these will be worth money like the, the old bottles are. I might be sorry I did this. I chose the chiffon cream colored paint for the bottle. I just think it blends well with the background on this picture. I thought about using white, but I just think it would not match. I've not worked with rice paper a lot, but so far I've had pretty good luck with the few that I have done. bought this paper well actually I brought this I bought this image already printed from decoupagenapkins.com but I have also printed several pictures of my own I bought some rice paper on Amazon and I'm trying to get used to printing images with my inkjet printer and takes a lot of patience because you have to wait for the, first of all, you have to wait for the ink to dry and I like to let that sit overnight. Otherwise you have problems with the ink running. And then the following day I spray it with just a cheap hairspray. Let that sit for a couple hours and dry. That seals in the ink. When I first started, I had a few disasters with ink that ran. Again, I've got my wet paper towel to clean up the edges of the Mod Podge because it does show. Once it's dried, you can 
see it around the image, so I try to wipe that off as best as I can. just a light layer over top this would be great for somebody that has a man cave decorated in this type of decor Love to get more of these bottles too, but I think it's quite expensive, so probably not a real common item. I have seen them for sale empty, like on eBay. You can pick them up, but they're so heavy, I think it would cost quite a bit to ship just the bottle. And then the saran wrap trick. Once you get it on there, you can work it and have no issues with it tearing. Make sure that your edges are down. The most important part, work out any bubbles you can see. Perfect. And again, wipe the Mod Podge off. I'm really undecided if I want to spackle this bottle. I think I probably will just because I like that look. And it does give it a finished touch. And you could put something on the back of this too if you had something in mind. I'm not sure what you'd use, but. I can see a few bubbles. I'm just gonna push down with this wet, damp paper towel. It's nice with the rice paper, you usually don't get wrinkles like you do with the napkins. a little thicker than a napkin so it probably doesn't blend in with the, the bottle as well as a napkin would but okay it kind of looks like a label on here actually Not sure why we got a few bubbles here And that is it. So I think I'll go ahead and let this dry and then I will show you once again how I do the spackling process. Okay, I'm all set up to spackle the bottle. And I have used DecoArt um, the Americana zinc. Let's put a little on a paper plate, a little bit of water, an old toothbrush, get a few bristles in there, and of course I wear the glove because it's just easier cleanup. And you just run your thumb along the bristles. It is quite messy, so I'll be sure you lay something down your surface unless you don't care I guess I'm working on my kitchen table for now so I do have to be careful with that I mentioned before there's probably an easier process I haven't came across that yet and I just like this look so this is what I use I try to avoid the, on this one, I don't want to get the paint on that car in the background there. Get 
take away from it. Try to get it in around the letters. Paper towel again comes in handy. You will have some mistakes here and there. They wipe right off. This is just a soft toothbrush. can think of probably several guys on my Father's Day list that would love a, something like this if they had their man cave all set up and in this decor. I'm just going to leave the back of mine plain with no image and I of course I'll do the spackling on that side once this is dry. Okay so I'm gonna let this side dry. Do the other side and then I'll be back to show you what I seal it with. Okay, I've allowed this to dry. Um, actually, I used a blow dryer on it too, kind of in a hurry. And you don't want your paint to be wet at all or it will streak. Here's what I use, the DecoArt DuraClear Matte Varnish. I bought this on Amazon. I'm sure you can get it in any craft store. Just put it out onto the paper plate and again, a sponge brush and cover the entire bottle and design. I really like this sealer. I've had good luck with it on everything I've used it for. It has no smell. A little on the spendy side, but it's worth it. Much better than the sprays. The smell of those are not good. And I'll give this probably two coats, maybe three. This is the, the matte. You could use a glossy if you wanted to, I guess. I prefer the matte on everything I do. Okay, so that's what I do there. Uh, I'll finish this up and show you the final product. Okay, I'm back and here is the finished product. I took just some number three jute and wrapped around the neck of the bottle. The glue I use is this. I've had good luck with this. It doesn't seem to take the paint off and it sticks very well. And the back side. I'm quite happy with the way it turned out. This is the original cap that came with it. It is plastic. Could paint that I guess if you wanted to I think I'll just leave mine black. The only other thing that I might do is if I can find this color of blue in my paint stash I might put a strip of blue across here. It might look nice.
Okay, thanks everyone for joining me again. Be sure and like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And thanks for joining me.